Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views. Now, before I get into today's video, I just want to ask you guys for a quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so it would really help out a lot if you would subscribe. And of course, we're very, very close to reach 300,000 subscribers. And that would help out a lot. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about something really interesting. I just came across a very interesting article and I thought everyone should know about this. And of course, every iPhone user should know about this so you have a better understanding of how your device works. Now, let's get into the video and let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So, as you can see from the title, your iPhone is actually lying to you every day. Maybe not every day, but every time you go to your settings and you take a look at the battery health of your iPhone, just know that you're being lied. Now, this is actually not accurate at all. And I've noticed this, I've experienced this with my iPhone and I will explain that in a second. But first of all, let's just take a look at what Apple says about the maximum capacity, basically the battery health of iPhones. So according to Apple, a normal battery is designed to retain 80% of its original capacity after 500 complete cycles. Now the cycle is basically zero to 100% or 100%, it comes down to 50, you charge it again at 100, it goes back to 50, basically 100 is a cycle no matter how you charge it or how you discharge your iPhone. Now normally an iPhone would go to around 250 to 300, maybe more or less, cycles through a year which means that in about two years your iphone's battery health should drop at 80 percent but you can see right here it says 500 it will drop at around 80. Now you can see right here the battery health of my iphone is at 96 percent even though i'd had this device for a bit over a year and if i just go ahead and take a look at the battery cycles of this device you can do that by going to privacy and go right here to analytics and improvements and go to analytics data. Now you will need a shortcut to do this. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video if you wanna check out the battery cycles of your device. So let's just go ahead and find log aggregated here. So if you wanna do this for a device and see how many battery cycles the device has gone through, you can do that with this. So let's just find that. Okay, so here is log aggregated and make sure you go ahead and go to the last one right here tap that share button right there and tap right here this will be sh will basically show up once you have the shortcut installed on your device so just like that and you can see it says that my battery has gone through 325 cycles that means that it has consumed about 65 percent of those 500 battery cycles that apple talked about which means that basically the battery health of my device should right now be at around 85 percent somewhere around that so maybe 87 to 85 or maybe even a bit more but it's actually at 96 percent so why does this happen and why the battery is at 96. now a very interesting fact is that this battery has stayed on 100 percent health for about nine months or so since I have, of course, first started to use it, and that should not be true at all. So let me show you guys what happened and why this is happening. So take a look right here. This is a screenshot that I took on October 25th, the day I noticed that the battery dropped down to 99% for the first time, of course, since I had purchased it, and of course, I had been using this for nine months. So why does that happen? So this is very simple when you understand it of course i will leave that original article right down below in the description of the video that has been explained and of course from now on you know why that is happening and why the battery health won't drop for a longer time in some devices this is not the case on every device now just taking a look here googling iphone 12 pro max battery million powers you can see that it's designed to have 3687 milliamp hours that's the capacity of battery and of course as the health drop this capacity will drop as well so according to this article and this really makes sense no battery is the same not just on iphones on every device lithium-ion batteries these are in theory will have this capacity but some iphones will come with batteries that actually have from the factory have 
larger capacity in theory and of course on the system here it recognizes this number as the maximum capacity but it has more than that so as this drops your iphone will remain the battery health will remain at 100 percent until it drops under this number and that's the point when the battery health will start dropping on your device so in this case i was probably one of the luck luckiest one to have a device that had quite a bigger battery than it's designed to be it's basically in theory is this probably had way more and the iphone battery health didn't drop until it dropped until under this number actually which in theory is the maximum capacity of this device now of course different devices will have different batteries with different capacities even though in theory every device should have this capacity and the devices the battery health will only start to drop when it drops under this capacity which basically is supposed to have in theory that's why some iphones will retain 100 percent battery health for way way longer time that is of course why this device has gone through a lot of cycles 325 and it has lost only four percent now that four percent is just the the, the the million powers that have been lost under this number right here and it doesn't count the ones that have been above this number which the battery had of course when it first was installed on this device if that makes sense of course it's basically what happens here and why some iphones will retain 100 percent battery health for way way longer time so it's basically luck if you get the device with a larger basically battery with larger capacity then it will remain on 100 percent for a way longer time so that's basically it for this video guys this is a very interesting article of course it's short but it just explains on point why this happens and of course i believe every iphone user should know about this and just check out their battery make sure you check out the maximum capacity here and make sure you also check again the battery cycles and see if that matches so this will basically is the most accurate thing that you will see on your iphone the battery cycle count just go ahead and check them out again from here analytics go here find log aggregated the last one and just run the shortcut that i will leave of course linked right down below in the description of the video and should you should exactly know how many battery cycles an iphone has gone through now this would be useful of course if you want to buy an iphone maybe use the iphone for someone make sure you always check the battery cycles on that device and if they're a lot like 500 400 just know that the battery has been used quite a lot and of course alongside that the iphone as well so that's basically it again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next video